Hey everyone, Willsy here from Willsy360. Welcome back. In this multi-part video series, I'm going to show you step by step exactly how I develop my 360 degree photos from a brief overview of how I configure my drone to shoot the individual images that build my 360 degree photos, followed by post-processing, stitching the 360 composite image, then optimizing the final 360 image into a presentable 360 format for personal or commercial use. As per the title of my video, the drone I shoot with is the DJI Mavic Air. In this video series, I won't be covering the configuration of my drone in depth. I'll be going on the assumption that most of you viewers will have a basic understanding of how the Mavic Air drone takes 360 degree photos. Let's start with how I configure my drone. The first and potentially most important setting is to ensure that your drone is always shooting in RAW format. Equally important, I suggest you keep the ISO level as low as possible if the lighting allows. I generally try to keep it at 100, a maximum of 400 in a worst case scenario, otherwise the noise becomes too strong. Lastly, I suggest you set your photos to 4x3 aspect ratio if your drone hasn't already done so by default, because 16x9 aspect ratio photos will not work in a 360 degree photo format. So long as these three core settings are configured on the drone, the remaining settings are flexible to adjust how you see fit. Once I get out on site, I flick the drone into Pano 360 mode, fly it up to a height of around 150 feet or 300 feet, and then I'll take the photo with the 360 degree automated feature built into the Mavic Air drone. This built-in 360 feature requires little interaction, however, does an excellent job at capturing the entire scene with minimal retakes required. It's a really simple process for the drone, that's probably the easy part. Once I've got the drone photos on the computer, I then import them into Camera Raw and post-process them individually. I then export the processed photos out of Camera Raw and import them into ICE for 360 stitching. ICE, otherwise known as Image Composite Editor, is a completely free photo stitching program developed by Microsoft. To my understanding, ICE is no longer developed or supported by Microsoft, but it is still an excellent tool and streamlines the process brilliantly. Once I've got my 360 shots stitched, I then move on to Photoshop and do the final post-processing in there, and that involves improving the sky, getting rid of anomalies and things like that. And then finally, this is an optional thing, but I use Nick tools to improve the colouring of the final 360 image and give it a bit of pop. Nick, N-I-K, previously uh, owned by Google, were free um, about two years ago. They've since been purchased by another company who have now made it a um, paid product again. But you can still acquire the uh, free Nick tool suite from the internet. There are links to all of the software packages that I've mentioned in the description below. Bear in mind that some of these software packages are paid versions and some of them are free. So before we get into it, I'll just quickly show you around the photo, the final photo that I'm um, going to walk you through the process of developing. So uh, basically, yeah, we're atop um, Dunstan Range here, which uh, is in central Otago in New Zealand. I managed to get my drone off the ground only briefly because it was extremely windy up there and the wind was coming from the direction of the sun. So really this rock was the only saving grace that allowed me to fly my drone. But anyway, I got it off the ground, took the, the, the 360 photos and yeah, this is basically how the final composite came out. And this is what I'll take you through and how I developed it. So stay tuned to the following videos and fire any questions down in the comments.